Hey everybody. Well, it was a good weekend. Happy weekend. Today's a good day for a couple different reasons. So let's start chronologically and look at last night. I missed the first part of the game. Well, I listened to it on the radio. I got in the car a little after four, I listened to it on the radio. Um, heard the first touchdown drive on the radio, got home, and I watched the rest of it. A lot of different emotions in this game, you know. At first, I was, I felt like we were in complete control. I thought, I thought we had it. I thought we were going to dominate. And then, you know, I went from feeling great about the team to feeling bad about, awful about it. Just feeling like this was an awful team. And they fought through that adversity, and uh, we ended up with the win. And there's not much bad you can say about a win when you're a team fighting to just get bowl eligible. And now we are bowl eligible. Now we just need... Well, we don't need anything to get to the bowl, but hey, all we need to do is win one more, and we got a winning record. And, you know, I'll talk about that later. I think we're playing Oklahoma State, and... Right now, I can tell you I'm not so much looking forward to the results of that game, but it doesn't matter. I'm just happy we're in a bowl game, and um, I'll talk about that when the time comes. For this game, um, early on, when we took that 14-0 lead on the Jake Locker touchdown, I thought we, I thought it was done. I thought we had it. I thought it was over because, um, you know, just watching that game, we were in control. We were in it was just a dominating effort by our running game. Jesse Collier, Jake Locker, obviously, but Chris Polk, who was pretty clearly the player of the game and pretty clearly had the best game of his career, he was just dominant. And we could not have done it without him all game long, but early on, the running game was so dominant, I just thought, you know, whenever we need to pick up a couple yards, we're going to be able to get whatever we need we're going to be able to get whatever we want throughout this whole game because they just can't stop us. But then Locker threw an interception in the end zone, and suddenly it was a game because Mike Tool, Mike Tool, what I think that's how you pronounce his name, started to go out of his mind late in the first half, going into the second. He couldn't miss. Everything he threw was spot on other than, you know, there were one or two missed passes maybe, but he was spot on throughout a good portion of that game. And it just felt like there was nothing we could do to stop it. Because early, the defense was fine. The defense was doing their job. The defense was doing everything I could ask for. And then Mike Tool just took over. Um, the running game was productive. And, you know, this defense continues to frustrate me because they have not been good most of this season. And yesterday, Mike Tool, of all people, who is good, you know, I do think he's a good quarterback. He's good with his feet. He's good with... He's got a good arm. He did an excellent job yesterday escaping pressure, escaping sacks, but he, he's not Jim Harp. He's not Andrew Luck. He's not he's not Jake Locker. He's not a lot he's not as good as a lot of these guys and it's unfortunate that the defense could not play better than that, but I will say I think Mike Tool is a good quarterback and I thought that before this game too. So what else what else can you say about this one? So anyway, the game went along. The offense continued to play pretty well, but we made some bad mistakes. We had the end zone interception. We had a fumble at the one-yard line. We had a couple of bad miscues that kept us from breaking away in this game. Uh, we went for it on fourth in a situation where we could have kicked a chip shot field goal. And, you know, hindsight's 20-20, but looking back at it, we really should have just kicked that field goal and been happy with the three points. So... What else? I was getting furious. You know, it was 28-14, to 14, and then we gave up two quick touchdowns, and I thought, are we really going to blow this game? Like, oh, oh, right. Oh, all right. I'm watching the Ravens-Steelers game. Um, you know, I really thought, are we going to seriously blow this? With the bowl game on the line, with everything at stake, we're going to find a way to screw this up. We're going to find a way to blow a 14-point lead in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, the offense, don't get me wrong, as good as the offense played, they had a couple opportunities to put this game away, and they didn't. But, um, 
It was 28-28. We got the ball, put together a nice drive, continued to dominate the ball through our running, dominate the game through our running game, and there were a couple of times on that drive where I thought we were about to screw ourselves because all game we were committing penalties, and I will say maybe one or two of them mm, less than favorable calls, but most of them were right. I mean, for the most part, this was an ugly game, and we we were sloppy. And we had just gotten the ball deep into field goal range and range for an easy game winning field goal. A stupid personal foul knocked us back and I thought, are we going to, is that how we're going to blow this game? We're going to blow this game on a personal foul after the whistle. Really? That's the best we can do? And Locker mans up, rears back, throws a beautiful pass, curse in the end zone, and that was the game. So, yeah, you got to give all the credit in the world to this running game that I think must have had well over 300 yards. Uh, Locker was pretty good. He threw a bad interception. He made some bad throws, but he was good for the most part, and when it really counted, he reared back and threw up a 30-yard touchdown and got us into what I think is going to be the Holiday Bowl. So i got to give it up to him. He, he did his thing. He's playing with broken ribs. Although he did look healthy this week for the first time in a while. And, you know, I gotta say I'm proud of the way he manned up. And, yeah, the Apple Cup, twice in a row now. And we are going bowling. Exciting time. And, obviously, like I said, game of the game ball goes to Chris Polk. You will never see a running back be as dominant as he was yesterday in Washington for a very long time. I mean, I cannot ask for much more. All right, today, I want to talk about today's game real quick. Um, you know, I was really thinking, when that game started, it was as ugly as ugly can be. We played a horrible first half. Carolina was spot on. Carolina was hitting people. Carolina was... Um, pounding the ball on the ground, and all their offensive linemen were executing, and, you know, at that point, it's tough for you to do too much. It, it's tough for you to get the job done. It's It was brutal to watch. I mean, we couldn't stop the run. Uh, we really couldn't stop the pass either. We couldn't force any turnovers, and it was 14 nothing before I even knew what was going on, and it looked like one of those games where Carolina gets the ball, and you just don't know how you're going to stop them. And offensively, it was a nightmare. Nobody was getting open. No running lanes were being made. The running backs weren't making any plays themselves. It looked like a nightmare. Everything that could go wrong was going wrong. Mike Williams got hurt, and that's still an issue at this point. So I am not enjoying the prospect of this offense without Mike Williams. But hopefully he's okay. You know, when I saw Mike Williams was going to be out the rest of the game, I was seriously concerned we were going to find a way to drop this one. But... The game went on, and we came around. And starting late in the first half, you know, Matt threw a bad INT interception, but the offense started to move, and next time we got the ball, we drove down, should have gotten a touchdown, settled for the three, and, you know, well, I'll live with the three. And the second half, we came out, all, all systems go, Drove right down for a long touchdown on a great drive. Great, great drive. Um, everything was suddenly working, and uh, even the running game for the first time this year looked good. So props to Marshawn Lynch. He's finally starting to produce according to his um, effort, because I believe he goes out there and gives a ton of effort every week, and sometimes it doesn't show, but I believe it showed today, and I believe he, he did his job, and then some. Um, then Lofa. I've been waiting all year. Lofa has not been making a ton of plays this year. He's been playing well, but he's not been the playmaker I wanted. He made a big play today to give us the lead. And in the second half, it was a completely different game after that. The special teams showed up. The special teams had a, you know, got down to the one-yard line, and, you know, really you can give Leon Washington credit for the special teams touchdown there. Um, and looking at you know, looking at 
the defense. The defense got pressure. The defense forced the big turnover. The defense just in general was able to stop Carolina. It wasn't even just big plays. It was on most of the plays they were able to hold up Carolina. And the offense ran the ball really well. We really controlled the second half of the running game. We um, passed the ball effectively. Matt, a couple of bad interceptions couple of bad almost interceptions. I can't say he had a good game, but I will say that he didn't lose us the game, obviously, because when it mattered the most, during that run where we put up 34 straight points, or, yeah, I think it was 30, might have been 31 straight points, something like that, he was... He was he was spot on. He was real good for us, and we needed it. So, yeah, it's a great weekend. Both my teams, they executed. They did what they needed to do. And big wins. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. And I'll talk about uh, future weeks as it comes up. And, you know, when the time comes, I'll get to talking about uh, the bowl game, which I don't think is for another three weeks. And, yeah, we got some, we got games against tougher teams, Seattle does, coming up. Uh, if we play like this against better teams in the future, we're going to be down by more than 14. We're going to be in such a big hole, we can't dig ourselves out of it. And, um, we can't let it get to that point. We gotta, we gotta start stronger, because these slow starts, when you're talking about playing the worst team in the league, and still starting so slow, you get killed in the first half. It's not going to cut it, so... Big wins. Happy to see uh, things maybe getting back on track. I mean, for the Seahawks, we'll see. I mean, I'm not going to put too much weight into this one, but it was good to see. It was just good to have fun watching a game, because for the last month, with one exception, these games have not been fun to watch, and today was, so... All right. I'll see everybody later, and like I said, a good weekend.